Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Justine. I live on the west coast of Canada and I am in my late 40s and I film YouTube videos about two or three times a week. Beauty, lifestyle, subscription boxes, hauls, that sort of thing. So if that's something that interests you, then please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. So today is one of my favorite videos. I say that every time. <laughs> But it is my monthly favorites for the month of November. And as you guys know, there was tons of Sephora sales and all kinds of different sales, Black Friday and all sorts. So I did pick up a lot of goodies and luckily a lot of them ended up in my favorites. So I'm going to share all of those with you today. And I also have one little fail that I will also mention. So. I first want to um, do shout outs for YouTube channels. I just started doing this a couple months ago and I really enjoy it. And I like sharing with you guys some of the YouTube channels that I like to watch. Sometimes they're big channels, sometimes they're small. Um, however, this month, because it's the month of December and giving, and that is, I'm gonna give out some shout outs to some smaller channels that I'm surprised don't have more followers because a few people have done that for me this past month and um, it has increased my subscribers. So thank you Heba S and also thank you Everyday Edit for giving me a little shout out because I um, did get some new subscribers from that. So I'm hoping that um, by mentioning some other people that maybe they will get some more subscribers too because they're really great channels and just need a little bit of love. So these three ladies, um, I'm not quite sure if they were my subscribers first or I subscribed to them, but we mutually subscribed to each other and we've become quite good friends. So it's quite fun. And I think they're all around the age 50, so they're just a couple years older than me, but we like a lot of the same products, a lot of the same things. So I'm going to go through each one individually. Um, the first one is a fellow Canadian. I love watching Canadian YouTubers because they talk about a lot of products that we have access to some stores that we only have access to such as the bay shoppers drug mart that sort of thing and also they understand how hard it is to get some products from the states because we have to pay duties and taxes and all that kind of stuff so they are kind of familiar with all that so i do enjoy watching canadians and this lady i should probably say her name is kathy's life She's a really fun lady. She does reviews, hauls. Um, I think she's starting up some subscription boxes because she's asked me about a couple of boxes that I belong to. So she probably will be doing some of um, those coming up soon. Um, she lives on the East Coast, I believe. I think she's around Ontario, Ottawa area. And she just films um, similar content to me, you know, her favorite, some favorite beauty items, skincare, that sort of thing. So if you're looking for somebody in their 50s and she's also a fellow Canadian, I would definitely check her out. Another one is Angela C. Beauty and Flair. She is from New Zealand and I just find her very interesting. I love listening to her accent. She sounds very much like my sister-in-law who's an Australian. I know it's a different accent but I get them all mixed up. My husband's South African and I get all three of those accents <laughs> mixed up. Um, but anyway, she's from New Zealand and she, even in living in New Zealand, gets access to a lot of the same beauty products as us and she often reviews a lot of palettes and things of um, similar type of eyeshadows that I really enjoy so I found her really helpful and she does a lot of um, tutorials as well. I, I'm not sure what her background is. I kind of have a feeling she might be an esthetician or something in the makeup industry because she seems to know a lot about makeup or maybe she's just a beauty junkie like me. I'm not sure. So I would definitely check her out. And lastly is Heba S. She gave me a little shout out earlier this month and I definitely want to give her a shout out as well because she is such a wonderful lady. She lives in Texas. She does a lot of similar um, makeup reviews as me. She does a ton of subscription boxes and a ton of advent calendars. My goodness, her house must be full of advent calendars right now, but she does a great job on that. She's just a beautiful, wonderful lady. I just really, really enjoy watching her. And I think a lot of my viewers would enjoy her as well because we're quite similar, have similar taste in products and things. So I think you'd quite enjoy her. So anyway, on to the products. So the first one is um, a video I did just recently on a silk pillowcase. I'm not gonna go too much into detail. I'll actually link the review below but it is this beautiful lily silk um, pillowcase. I took it right off my bed to show you guys. It's a bit um, wrinkled now because I've been sleeping on it. Um, 
but it is gorgeous and I have noticed a huge difference in my hair now. When I did the review, I'd only had it for about a week, but now I notice that my hairstyle lasts longer. It's not all crazy in the morning and I can restyle it much easier the next morning. So I'm really enjoying that and also it has all those wonderful skin benefits. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail about it, but I'm still loving this pillowcase. The next one is a product I actually bought in the summer and I did um, a little mini review or first impressions on it and that was the Becca Be A Light palette. And it was quite expensive and my review was, I didn't really think it was worth the money. Um, the powders are quite nice. It comes with a blush and a bronzer and I bought the light to medium and I wasn't overly on it and I felt I was probably better suited to the medium dark. I know I seem like I'm fair but I'm actually, I usually wear a lot of medium to dark shades for some reason. My skin, I think it looks fair but I'm not. So it's, I found this one a little bit light however it is a lovely set. So they came on sale and I got it actually, so it was on the sale page and I got it at the VIB and I picked up the medium to dark and I love it, absolutely love it. I've been wearing it so much. I don't really use it as powders, I use it as bronzer and then I use the blush and this is the perfect tone for me. It's just dark enough and it shows up on my skin. Yeah, these kind of powders, the shimmery, sparkly stuff does show texture on my skin. I have very large pores. Um, it's not really the best product for me, but I do really, really enjoy it. And it's a really good price right now. They've been on sale for a while, so they might not last might very long, but I actually love it so much. I picked up the light one for my mom and giving it to her for Christmas because I think it's a really good deal. And my mom loves Becca. So I know she's gonna love that as a gift. So the next thing is eyeshadow palettes. I'm actually not going to really give a favorites this month for eyeshadows because I bought so many palettes during the sale. I got one um, with, uh, I got I won a gift certificate from Marnie Goldberg and I bought an eyeshadow palette for that. I got them for my birthday. I just got a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I haven't really had enough time to spend a lot of time on each one to give, to actually say it's in my favorites yet, probably next. Next month I'll have had enough time but I just want to do two tiny little shout outs. One of them is the Too Faced Gingerbread and also I didn't really want to mention this one because I believe it is sold out. Maybe it's still on the Too Faced website but I got this as a birthday gift and I have been wearing it so much. I just really really like it. Um, the colors are great. I kind of gravitate towards the same ones all the time so I really need to play around with it a bit more and get into some of those pinks and purples and I will. Um, but if you know for a woman in your life if you're looking for gifts I think this would be a great gift um, especially for someone who doesn't have a huge eyeshadow collection because there's a little bit of everything in there. The next one that I've worn a lot this month even though I have so many to choose from and that is this Natasha Denona Camel. I just love it. The colors are just perfect. I love the formula. I've been using it so much that I've even pulled out one of my old Natasha Denona palettes and I'm wearing that one today. It's this one here and it's the Burgundy Colors eyeshadow palette number five. So it's making me revisit my uh, Natasha Denona stuff because I kind of put it on the back burner and I'm really enjoying it. The next thing is nail polish. You guys know I love nail polish. And I love Essie nail polishes in particular. However, their holiday collection just didn't really speak to me. A lot of the colors were kind of pastels. Maybe that is the trend, I don't know. Um, they did come out with some really, really sparkly colors as well, but I think those are only available to the US. So the ones that were available in Canada, I was a little underwhelmed by, so I went and investigated the Sally Hansen. Well, I am obsessed with these two colors. This burgundy I wore um, for two weeks, lasted. I've been using the um, Sally Hansen top coat on here. It's in that silver um, bottle. I'll link the name below. That was in my last month favorites. And right now I'm wearing this color. It's called, I'll link everything below, but I think it's called Shimmer. I'm wearing it right now, but I stupidly put an Essie sparkle on top, like a full-on glitter, and I wish I didn't because the color on its own was just so gorgeous. I think I've got lipstick on my fingers. It's a, 
it's a gold, but it shifts pink. It's like a duochrome. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just love these. So now I'm thinking, mm, I'm going to go back and look at what else they had for their holiday collection. So the next one is no surprise, Polly, and that is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I told you guys, uh, I don't know, about a month ago that I tried a sample and it was after the VIB sale. And I just fell in love with it and I was like, I'm just going and buying it. I don't care that the sale is over. But luckily I had one of those um, beauty rewards from Sephora. They're now allowing you to trade in your points to get cash value. So I did get a $100 card and I used uh, that card to buy this foundation. But just a little side note about that card if you do get it. Everything you buy on it is non-refundable. You can't even exchange. So just if you're going to buy something, make sure it's something you definitely, definitely want. So I love that foundation. I've been wearing it a ton. I just think it makes my skin look really flawless. I'm wearing it today. I just really, really enjoy it. So the next thing is from Bath & Body Works. I love holiday scents. My favorite holiday scent is Body Shop Cranberry. However, they didn't come out with it this year. So I'll get into that in a minute. But I have been loving this Bath & Body Works gingerbread. If you like sweet um, scents, I love sweet, sultry, vanilla, fruity, amber, that sort of scent. I just love these. As you can see, I've only had this a couple weeks and I'm already halfway through it. I just love it and I've been using the body cream. Now, I try not to use uh, Bath & Body Works skin um, body moisturizers because I think they're just full of chemicals and parabens and all kinds of stuff. So I do know better. I know I shouldn't be using them, but I have been wearing that every day because I just love the scent. And I only like holiday scents during the holidays. January 1st, I want them gone. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly use them up while I have them. And then I'll move on to some more healthy uh, body care because I, I don't like um, the thought of that because it's actually absorbing into your skin. So the next product also probably won't be a surprise. It's from Moroccan Oil. I know I'm late to the Moroccan Oil party. I have used Moroccan Oil, like the actual oil before, but I have a million oils and I like them all. There, I, nothing really stood out about it. But this shampoo and conditioner, I got a sample of it, um, I don't know, in a sachet from Sephora, I'm assuming. And it, as I'm in the shower, I knew I was gonna have a good hair day. It's like a creamy, oily texture. I could feel like sometimes my hair feels stripped and dry in the shower and I know my hair isn't going to turn out. With this it just feels so buttery and creamy while I'm in the shower and when I rinse it out it just feels soft and silky in the shower so I know it's going to be good. So I just want to add that this is called, um, it just says Fragrance Original and I have mentioned this in a previous video but I'm just going to mention it now. I had a hard time finding it. I went to a shampoo store because I wanted to buy the big liters of it and everything was um, for color treated hair, hydrating, volume, they all kind of had a type on the shampoo but this doesn't have a type, it just says fragrance original. So the lady in the st at the shampoo store said, I'm sorry, I don't know which one you're talking about. It has to be one of these. These are the only ones we have. So I actually contacted Moroccan Oil directly and they said this is part of their body care line. So it's on their body care page, which is very peculiar to me. Otherwise, how are people supposed to find it? So anyway, Sephora did have this as a beauty bundle set and I got a beautiful little gift bag and a body cream and the actual original oil in it as well um, which is very lovely because it was a Christmas set so I got a nice little deal and I got it at the VIB sale but I am in love with the shampoo and conditioner I just love it so um, just as a side note it's not any of the other ones that they talk about volume whatever hydrate it's it's one of its own in the body care line. I haven't tried any of those other ones. So the next is lipstick. I did get a lot of lipsticks at the VIB sale and again I didn't really get a chance to thoroughly try them all to put them in favorites but there were a couple that really stood out. The first one is actually a revisit. Um, I did a video, I'll link it below, on my Charlotte Tilbury lip collection. And in that video, I did swatches and tried on and it kind of made me think, oh my God, why haven't I been wearing this? I just have so many lipsticks you kind of forget. So one of them in particular was this color here called Coachella Coral. And I have been wearing this 
all November. I just love it. I know it's probably a summery color, coral, but I've been wearing it to holiday things because it's a darker lip. I don't usually wear dark lipsticks. If you're new to my channel, I tend to wear nudes, peachy nudes, very light colors, but I've slowly been trying um, other colors and stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm actually really enjoying these darker, bolder, brighter colors. So that one in particular has been on repeat. The next one is also a bit of a surprise. Um, I'll link the video below, but I ordered some lipsticks from Pat McGrath. They were the Blitz Trance, those kind of sparkly ones. And I ordered them sight unseen, just based on the color that it showed on the website. And when they, I saw then Temptalia did a review before they even shipped. And I canceled the order, but they accidentally sent them anyway because they were too dark. So anyway, I got them and I said, I'm just going to try them. I did a video and I actually fell in love with this color, Nude Romantique. It's a pink. It's just gorgeous. It's much darker than something I would ever, ever wear, but I have actually worn this a ton. So that was kind of a little bit of a surprise. I like the formula. The packaging is just so adorable in this gold sparkly case. Um, it de You can feel a little bit of grit um, because it is a sparkly um, lipstick. It's not my favorite of her formulas, but it is very, very nice. And I definitely will be wearing this a lot over the holidays. It's just such a fun color for dressing up. And the last one is also Pat McGrath and it is the color Christie and I'm wearing it now. It, um, she did have it in the holiday packaging, but it had sold out. So I just bought it in the regular packaging and I got it at the, oh no, my stepdaughter actually bought this one for me, sorry. This one is Christy. It is from her matte trance collection and I've been wearing this a ton. It's just a gorgeous pinky, I guess kind of a nude. Um, it's definitely darker than what I would normally wear, but I have been loving it. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm wearing it right now. The formula, the matte trance, isn't as nice as the Lux trance. That is still my number one lipstick formula of all the lipsticks I think I've ever tried. The Lux trance, it just lasts forever. It's there's nothing else like it. The matte trance is lovely, um, very, very pigmented, nice and long lasting, but it's not as nice as Lux trance, but definitely nice. And I love this color, Christy. So last but not least, I do have a little bit of a fail. It's not a big deal. Um, so as I mentioned, I love holiday um, body lotions and scents and candles and all that kind of stuff. And every year I always buy the Body Shop Cranberry. I have the body spray and I always get something from the, the body butter, da, 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 the whole set. I love it. It's my favorite body shop scent and they've had it for, I don't know, 20 years. And this year they don't have it. So I was so disappointed, but I went into the store and they had something that was, I guess it's replacement. She said it's berry bonbons, berry bonbon. And it, she said it does have some cranberry oil in it, so it does have a little bit of a cranberry scent. And smelling in the package, it smells quite lovely. You know, it's just a nice sweet berry. I smell a lot of raspberry. However, when I wear it, it stinks. It has this really, really cheap, cheap, nasty undertone. I can't put my finger on it, but it is a very cheap scent. And it doesn't smell like that in the container but on my skin it just goes this horrible stinky cheap smell so I can't I can't even use it so I'm going to give it to my mom <laughs> not as a gift or anything she'll tell her I used it and I didn't like it I'm not that mean but my mom kind of gets all the things that I don't really enjoy um, and then she tries them out and sometimes she likes them and sometimes she agrees with me. But anyway, um, maybe she'll enjoy it. I don't know. So anyway, that is the uh, monthly favorites for the month of November. Let me know what you guys are loving this November and if there's any products that I should definitely check out or if you know of any holiday scents, like something that smells like Body Shop Cranberry because um, 
even Bath and Body Works doesn't have anything. They have a candle that smells like it, but they don't have any body products. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.